Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Apa khabar semua? Pemain Pemain Nat Paulo. So hari ini kita ada pertandingan yang amat hebat antara La Familia Team dengan tim HLA Gold yang diteraji oleh Dr. Asfar. Pemain hebat di Malaysia. Class 1 ini kan. Dia akan lawan dengan tim La Familia. Orang tua beti. Kalau dia tak menang hari ini tak tahu lah. Tapi nampak gaya dia I see you on the field of battle, buddy. So let me pick it up from here. La Familia versus HLA Associate Gold. HLA Associate Gold and Pink here. That's Dr. Asfar on the attack. Ines Madajo with the backhander. Override. 
Dr. Asbar has the ball. Now he leaves it behind for Rashid, who took out and set it up with the backhand. A nice pass to Vinay Bagazo, but the whistle goes. So we're uh, three and a half minutes into the first chapter. That's the first four things that we're going to see. Two matches today, La Familia versus Dejale Associates Gold. And later on, we will have La Salita versus Chibi Winhorn as the second game. So the players back on the field, Rashid Hassan, back from Spain and Argentina, the number three for the pink team, Dejale Associates Gold. We'll take the third he walks up to it. Look, it's straight through the goal with the red flag and they're on the board. One and a half HLA Associates gold to La Familia's one. I Up. Horse two, I think it is. Top round, horses tend to lose a few more shoes with this type of going. And if I see Revit falls in and comes off a pony, bounces up in the air, and we've got a whistle. We've got Penny Bachman in the blue helmet just to his left, and Gato Mohammed Moy pass on, making runs up field. Also waiting for the ball is Dasso Cycle and it goes up for Dasso Cycle, comes off his pony though, and Fede first to turn out to it, Dr. Asa is there, can't get Fede and the ball's left there, taken across the field now by Nico, but he has come to the near side, this it's along the board now, what can he do, turns left with it. The near side open back and looking for a player, that's what Cycle trying to run onto it and it's picked up by Rashid. But Rashid is taken out by Ferry. Ferry is still fighting for the ball, now the tail shot. Hits a nice tail shot, that's what Cycle's there in front of goal, can he tap it in? Oh no, just puts it wide left of the post. Nice attack there by La Familia, they're now by half a goal and they're trying to get ahead again. But yeah, missed by about six inches there. And the hit is for HLA Associates Gold playing in the pitch. Rashid taps it once, goes out to the right. Circling around, it's the Fede who wins the right off and picks it up near side. Fede Bachman has the line, has the ball, leaves it now for Hines. Hines on the run, goes past Rashid, can't get the next shot. And Fede now with a chance to make it. Dox coming up behind him, Fede now pumps it forward, but it goes wide left. So we'll do that again, and here comes Rashid, the side he goes to the left, sending Dr. Arfa on the run, Dr. Arfa, key game player, whacks it once and goes on the run, Dr. Muhammad cutting a cross to take it, bumps him now, and wins the ride off, but the ball's left there, and Dr. still has it, no, Muhammad turned it nicely, he did, taking out Doc, and double team there, it is Rashid who comes away with the ball, Rashid and the phone is next. And he has takes out Rashid, now to the near side, Doc comes in, no whistle though, Doc still running with it, under his pony's neck, pops it in the air, running to the back line and over the back line there. It is for La Familia off their own back line, they're down by half a goal. And they go off to the left now. He is looking for Fede Bachman, the two goaler. Fede, big shot looking for, Hum for Muhammad. Muhammad trying to roll onto it. Got coming down the line at two. Dr. Asfar takes it forward again. No backhands there from Dr. Asfar. Now he doesn't know what to do and Muhammad still runs the ball from him. Muhammad Moy under Tony's neck. Has the ball along the sidelines. He throws it next shot. Hits it. But it's Rashid who's first to it. Rashid. Here comes Fede, comes and takes Rashid out, Rashid turning with the ball and he's taken, he's beaten by Mohamed Moy, he gets to it, Doctor, as uh, it is, that's a cycle, but no. 
It is uh, Dr. Anfa now on the run, beaten by Hines to catch it, but the ball is taken by Nito, and now Hines comes and beats. Rushes to the ball and Hines on the run. Hines still with the ball. It's Nico is coming back to him and Nico is turning Dr. Saifu. Dr. Saifu tries to come to it and Nico takes the ball away. Now coming down the line, we've got Rushes and Dr. Saifu. Rushes packs it and the second bell goes. That will end the first sucker. They will restart to the throwing where the ball was. When the bell and whistle went. Sales to the board, we've got a new play in there. Ayman Zulani, the MVP of the youth tournament, gets a run in the sixth goal. And Rashid turns into traffic, gets the big whistle. Dato Saifo, who's also for people, they know each other very well. And they're going to have a bit of a battle today. Back to the game, Hines Bagajo with the ball. Goes left now, the big touch shot looking for Ferry. Ferry's right onto it. Taps it once, Ferry still has it. Needs to turn to goal. Get past Nico, no, he doesn't. And the backhand from Doc. Dr. Aspar. And now Rashid hits it, takes it to the far side. Hines Bagajo comes in, near side. Backhand, but we've got a whistle now. Not too sure what that's about, but we've got a whistle. Here comes Rashid wearing the number three cap at one slightly to the right. He'll look for the big shot now and unleashes one looking for the run of Nico. Nico taken out by Ginez. Ginez comes near side. Beautiful near side open. That's a cycle turning onto it. And Fede Bachman turns onto it. Gets the line, takes it to the board now. Fede Bachman on the flat gallop. Gets up before the board. Takes his man, rush it out really hard. And he knows Bagajo backing up now, looking for Dato Saifel on his left. Dato Muhammad on his right, neither can get to it. It's Dr. Arfa who picks up the ball. Dr. Arfa going a long way around the field. Can he do it? No, he can't. And it is Rashid taking it to the board, the far side of the board. Muhammad Moyes doesn't let him turn, right his line, the backhander. Comes in from Ferry Bachman and it's Dr. Arfa. What will he do? He will turn it for sure. There he goes. One turn, two turn. Now the big shot. Takes it to center field. Almost. And on the run. But now he has Bagajo comes in for the ride on Dr. Arfa. And has his man. He has come to the ball. Turns to the right. Hooked by his off, but gets away. And he has still with work to do. Comes up. Rashid with the Producing a little bit of an upset here in the second sucker, maybe by one and a half goals over Lafamilia. Lafamilia having to do a lot of hard work there. Hines Bagajo and Terry Bachman having to combine hard. Ivan Kakaini is in the battle with Dr. Saifo. And here comes Hines Bagajo. Whoa, we've got a whistle. We've got some Celtics. We've got a yellow card coming out. Yep, yellow card is out. He never has just carded somebody. I'm not too sure who he's carded, but it's going in favor of Nikola Associates Gold, who look like they are cantering up to the 60s or more. Um, umpires in many tournaments around the world, including the Super Nation Cup Finals. And he's now currently contacted by USPA. And also does quite a few 
Apparently, the job for the Federation of International Polo is back that I believe the umpire is the final of the World Championship in 2014, I think it was. Today, umpire has stayed in California, Texas, and Chicago. It is walked up, power driver, comes off the post, still in play. Mohamed Moy pushes it in. La Familia gets the goal. What a goal. Hammered it off the post. Bounced back into play, and Mohamed Moy was quickest to react. Took the ball in. Good goal by Dr. Mohamed. So, two to two and a half. La Familia on the comeback. So he's got a half sucker, players will have 90 seconds to go off and change their ponies. The lined up balls in play, Steve Evans puts it in and taken out by Fede, who strikes a nice pass to Ginez. Ginez now on the touch start open, that's what Mohamed Moy is running onto it in front of goal, that's what Mohamed Moy fans run it. Stop Rafa comes straight across Fede, but no whistle, and the ball goes out of play, we should have a 60 yarder. A safety 60. Along the line of the ball. Here's Kinez. With another three minutes up and high in the air. It's got the red flag or has it? I don't know. We've got two versions here. Nope, we don't have a goal. It's going to be a hidden. And it's rushing. The hidden from the right hand side. We've got another whistle here. Looks like a blocking foul. Teddy Parkman got his hand up and Nico Kisaki was there, right next to him. Just some really strong ones, let's see whether this one can go straight. Puts it up in the air, not a strong one, but this time it's wide to the left. So he's gone wide right, now it's wide left. Just in the zero in in for his shooting. Here's Rakit Hassan, big strong hit upfield but no no good player there. And then Bagajo comes to it, turn. Nico Pisaki turns with him. Then it goes inside out, now strike one. It's not long enough and he has to do the work himself. Rakit Hassan picks up the ball. Ginez with Nico, Rashid goes off to his right, Benny Bumpin comes up to it, hey, he sits to it, but can't get his backhand in, and it's Rashid, hit past it, but he thinks Doc away instead of Ayman, and it's Doc who can't get to the ball, and he's got a whistle here. Ginez Vagajo, from the 5B, from the centre, Pat one, no pressure on him, goes down the umpire, Pat again. Nico's waiting for him now, he just releases, but it's not a long one, and it's running down to the 60, they go first to it, and Rashid comes in and cut, Rashid steals it, Rashid taken out by Fede, and Dr. Aspar comes through the stop he has. specializes in those he does, another 60, today has hit the post one, gone wide right one, gone wide left one, let's see what he can do with this one, today is Bagazio. The four goal from Argentina. It's along the ground, straight at goal, but comes off Nico's horse. And Nico hits it forward, near side, and picked up by Fede. Fede, who oh, leads the ball this time. And I'm on first to it. Mohamed Moyes beats him to it. Mohamed Moyes going to go. Mohamed Moyes is slightly wide to left. Can he put it in? No, it's gone out of play to the left. So lots of pressure from La Familia, but it's not converting into goal. And Rashid Hassan taps once to the right hand side. What will he do? Now looking for Nico. Finds Nico on the left hand side. Ayman making a run. No, Hines has picked it up and Hines will now go to the other side. Open. Looking for Dr. Dr. Saifu. Can't get to it. And Nico's there. None of the La Familia players are going back. And it's Nico on the run. Taken away from him by Hines. Bagajo. Nico, the other side. Tail shot. Looks be beautiful, but. Fede first to it and Mohamed Moyes, can he turn it? 
Robert Boyd turns nicely and has the field in front of him. Goes past Dr. Alpha and that's what Mohamed Boyd oh, just comes off his stick who is to go to the left. Pines Bagajo along the board, now near side. Pops it into the air, that's what Mohamed going for it. No, it's Pines now, the bouncing ball. And Dr. Alpha brings it to Mohamed Boy. That's what Saifu can't get onto it. Ferry Bachman now with the ball coming through the pack. Ferry Bachman going past them. But leaves the ball there and it's Hines Bagajo who will stick the ball this up to the mouth, goal mouth. Rashid Hassan is standing there. Hines just pumps it through. Nothing that Rashid should do about that. La Familia says to be three to two and a half. Time running down at the end of the second chapter. There's the bell. And we'll have half time of the game with La Familia just in front by half a goal. They've got three to two and a half in front of the Chile Associates goal. Ball to play comes out on the goal side and it's uh, in his bagage trying to get to the ball. Can't get it, steady, can't get it, and turning nicely is Nico Pisaki. Nico, the two goal from Argentina, takes it to the sideline. It's along the board, but it jumps the board, and now we'll get the ball to La Familia, who will get the hit in near the board. The ball will be dropped five yards in. And play is called. Then Bagaja immediately goes it forward. He's got Nico waiting for him, Hines with a long one up for you. Rashid Hasnan is there and Rashid with a nice tail shot. But Fede Bachman turns onto it, read it beautifully. Now Fede with the strike and goal, but Rashid has it. So he goes people, Rashid gets through the ball. Hines can't get the backhand uh, and it's Effie who gets in his way. Mohamed Boyd on the backhand, but no, it's Rashid Hasnan. Comes in, hits Fede, Dr. Alfa on the run. Can't get the second one, the backhander is tailed by Ferry Bachman and first to it, Rashid Hassan turns. Effie waits for him. Rashid Hassan now striking it to the left, looking for Doc, but he can't get there, and it's Hines Bagajo. He is the ball, takes to the side, and now turns, gets past Doc, gets past Nico as well, and on the run himself, Rashid coming in, and Nico with the backhander sends the ball to Rashid, but standing there with Stanley, and uh, we've got a whistle. Rashid Hartman picking up the ball on the black pony. Black helmet, he's just back from some training in Argentina. But the dark red helmet, I think he hits the ball very well. Got a nice solid shot on him. Let's see what he can do with the kick Kiara. Rashid Hassan for HLA Associates goal. We are down by half a goal. Lift it beautifully, it's up in the air. Where is it gone? We've got some people saying no, some people saying out. The umpire says it's out. This goal judge and he suspects both that twice he's, he's done that. And it is a hit in for La Familia. Here comes Inez with the hit in. Strikes it beautifully looking for somebody. Stanley doesn't want it. And the ball gets buried. Picked up by Fede, he's just for Hines. Oops, they all leave it for fire see. It's gone back into the same hole, like that hole. Here's Fede. Fede. The bouncing ball. Flips it forward. And now it's uh, Rashid who gives it to Fede. Fede tapping forward. And Dr. Alpha with a backhand. Hines Barkman gets to it, turns it. Turns and goes past Nico. Now he has clear field in front of him, taps it up to the 60, makes the next shot. This time it's a beautiful one, it's running to go, rush is running to it, and it just looks like it's going to go wide to the right. Too much power on that, and HLA Associate Joel will have the hit in. They're down by half a goal, it's the third chapter. Coming up to the half chapter break, 
and it takes a little cookie and swim, rush it hard now. Kind of pump it forward, doesn't get there. Then he bump and takes him out the back and they're looking for Marmot Moyes, he doesn't turn it. Dr. Alpha running back towards goal. He will have to play it, he leaves it there in front of goal. Then he bump and comes in, rush it back to the either. And he is. For Gary Joe has a simple job of tapping it in. You'd think that somebody would hit a backhand, but no, they don't have that. So, that's it. Four to two and a half. There we go, all set for the restart and balls in. Steve Evans pokes it in. And the big net shot by Rashid Hassan looking for an HLA player. Doesn't find one. It's Teddy Bachman who read that and puts it under Tony's net. Nico comes in, taken out by Teddy. And it is Hines Bagajo being shadowed by Dr. Alpha. Doc now leaves it. And it's Hines teasing Doc with the ball. Hits it and goes past Doc. Nico can get to it. Yes, he does. Nico and Fede. Nico with a backhander. Picked up by Hines Bagajo with the touch shot. Taken cross field to the 60. He has Doc for company. Doc. Takes it and there goes the whistle. It has also gone straight ahead, but it was stopped by the pink team. Let's see whether he can put this one into the apartment. It is Bagajo, Argentinian, four roller, big hitter. It pops up in the air but goes wide to the right. This time the goal judge seems to know where it went and he will place the ball there. Rashid Hassan will take the hitting. Dr. Asa going to the right, but Rashid went left. Now lost it, puts it into the center looking for a player. Can he find Doc? No, he can't. It's Mohamed Moy to get to him first. But Doc gets away from Dr. Muhammad and Doc on the run. Has the ball, hits it again, comes off Stanley Colson. and Doc pops it into the air. Muhammad Moyes with a backhand there, can't get it. And it is left for Nico to pump it forward and Nico gets the goal from long range. Nico Pataki pulls one back and where they are now within half a goal of La Familia. Four to three and a half, HLA Associates goal coming back. Back to the center, four to three and a half, La Familia lead. Comes off down to Marmon's horse, stays there, Hines Bagajo, claims the ball. Comes out of the pack with it, spins back into the pack. Hines Bagajo goes past them, we've got a whistle. Hines looks like he's going to walk up to it. The 60. Puts it along the ground, going le wide left, and he can't get to it. And another 60 yard of wasted. Rashid hits it out to the sidelines. Nico Pataki on the run. Comes off the boards, and Nico leaves it behind, pumps it over the boards. We're going to have. A hidden for La Familia. I don't know why they need that ball because the umpire team never has one. But they want that ball and Hines packs it, goes upfield. Nico Petraki waiting for him. Hines now with the big long shot wide to the right. He hasn't zero to sight yet. They're all going right or left, but nothing straight through the centre. Rashid Hassan will try another hit. It. He's hit quite a few of those today. He's gone right again. He will look for Dr. Alpha on the run. Will it reach him? No, it won't. There's the first bell. Nico Petraki trying to get onto the ball. Nico 
on the run, taken out by Hines. Hines near side, Thai can't can get it, Dr. Asa can't get it, Essie can't get it, and it will be Fede who will turn this ball now. Fede Bachman. Fede Bachman going to the center. Oh, comes off his stick, and we've got a whistle. Dr. Asa was there again. And that will end the chapter. The first half ends with La Familia still half goal lead. Four to three and a half over a collector of his goal. So, a big foul there because the other team would have been clear on goal had he been allowed to hit it. And it is now La Familia with the 40 yard penalty. Three. It is Bagazio. Let's see whether he's zeroed his sight. Hines puts it up in the air, this time gets the red flag, it's even a different goal judge at that end, so looks good. They've gone one and a half goals in front, five to three and a half. Last of them you have a lead, but this game has been dinged up. There's only been half a goal in it most of the time, and I wouldn't be surprised if they tell you, so this goal comes back. We've got plenty of time, six minutes to go in the final chapter. Waiting for Dr. Arthur to go to the line. He's in there now, balls in play, comes out, La Familia has it. No, it is Nico Pisaki taken out by Hines Bagazzo. Now Mahmoud Boy fighting for the ball. Does he have it? Doc comes in, Nico Pisaki comes in, and it is Terry Bachman who turns it. Terry now leads the ball for Hines Bagazzo. Too many taps and it's a walk and dribble. Will the ball, the ball will go to the other side, HLA Associates will get the ball from the spot. Teddy Boston waiting for him. Rashid comes, cancels slowly up to the ball. It's the big hit, lost it, looking for a player. Will it get to Nico? Nico taken out by Hines. Hines now, the strong backhander, and Teddy Bachman turns onto it. Teddy has it. Teddy Bachman with the ball. Teddy Bachman takes it past. Rashid, who waits for him. Robin Moyes from streaming past him. He takes it near side, can't get onto it. Rashid has none. Intense on turning it. Takes it, taken out by Teddy. And now it's Nico Pisaki who turns it. He then Bagazio waiting for him. Nico under Tony's neck looking for Dr. Alfa who's on the run. Dr. Alfa can he get onto the ball? Takes it to the far side. Teddy Bachman near side backhand. And it is Nico Bagazio who looks up. Hammers the long ball for Dr. Mohamed Moyes. Pass then to field. Mohamed Moyes on the run. Bouncing ball. Can he get it? No, he can't. Ball pops up in the air. Nico Pisaki with the ball. Turns it. Nico. Inez Bagazio waiting for him and now Rashid Hasnan goes upfield, gets the ball, Rashid Hasnan on the line, on the run, Rashid Hasnan bouncing ball, takes it to pass to 60, Fede Bachman comes in, hits him with the bump and it's Inez Bagazio turning nicely, good defense by La Familia there, taking the man, leaving the ball for Inez Bagazio, Inez now hits it to Fede Bachman, the two pros, the two Argentine pros playing to each other, Fede next shot, can't get onto the bat, the ball, and Dr. Alpha comes in and blocks Hines. No whistle this time. It is Hines who picks up the line. Hines turning. Now the long ball looking for Mohamed Moyes. He's never turned it. Fede waiting for the ball to get to him. Comes off his horse's leg. And it's Nico Pasaki. The ball's lying there. Mohamed Moyes has it. Picks it up. Going to go. And there's body jerky. Goes again. And Rashid comes in. No whistle, the ball's left there for Ferry Bachman, what can he do? Taps it once and oh, he's there still. Oh, he's What do we have? We've got a penalty one. We've got a penalty one. They've got the goal. And they'll have the hit from the center. Steve Evans has said that he's going to give the penalty one. Dr. Mohamed Boyce is celebrating. He's got the first penalty one of his life. He's waited 69 
years for this to happen, maybe 89 years. But you saw the penalty one. That's the Bahamas boys who is nowhere near the ball. Take the penalty one. And we will have HLA Associates backtracking. They're down six to three and a half. Four minutes to go. Inez Vagajo with the five feet to restart this game from the center. Four minutes to go. Hines turning with it. Hines going up to the 60. Hines Bagajo tapping. Goes past Dr. Alpha. No, he doesn't. Dr. Alpha steals it. Bob and Moyes can't get onto it. The backhand of Unsteady. Picked up by Rashid. Rashid bumped by Hines. And Rashid now will turn the other way. Hines Bagajo has to get out of the way. Rashid Hassan has the ball and strikes a strong one. Looking for Dr. Alpha. The Hoosa goes to signal half after Bob and Moyes. Takes it to the board. Near side comes off his pony. Picked up by Nico. No, it's picked up now by Rashid Hassan. Rashid turning into center field. Fede racing for him. Doesn't get the bump. And Mohamed Boyce comes in. Can't get the near side. Rashid Hassan. Tapping. And picks up Kane. Under his pony's neck. It's running wide to the left. And the nice. Shot from Nico Petraki. It's a beautiful goal. Beautiful near side next shot by Nico Petraki. And that will be the half chapter break. Two minutes 53 left in the fourth chapter. Six to four and a half. It's not over yet. Almost three minutes to get two goals. HLA Associates can still do this. In two minutes and 53 seconds. Very doable. Everything to play for in this match. The ball goes in and it's Rashid Hassan who comes away with the ball. He goes back into the pack and gets hooked. The backhander is missed. The, back, the tail shot is missed by Fede. And now, Hines Bagajo pumps it up to That's what Muhammad Boyd is alone. Can he do it? Hits one. It goes past the 60 into the goal. Now, under his body's neck. It needs a bit more run. And Hines, he doesn't need it. It's, it's through the goal. No. What? I... No, it's, it's gone wide to the left. And Rashid Hasnan wasting no time, so it's just out to the far side. Rashid Hasnan strikes it. Not such a strong one. Fede Bachman comes in, gets the ride off, and Fede is inside. Backhander can't get it. Nico picks it up, and Nico sends it forward. Doc is uh, Ayman, who's back on the field, and Ayman to Haini. Big run, big hit by the young lad. He's clear, he's running to go. He's got Sandy chasing him, can't get to it, onto it, and Sandy Bachman can't get the backhander. Turned by Hines Bagajo. Hines Bagajo now, nice turn, gets away from Nico Petraki. Out forces him and runs to the far side. Checks up now. Taps it once, looking for Bahamas Moist. Will it reach him? No, it won't. It runs short, and it's Nico Petraki who will take it, take it and turn it now. Nico turning, Bahamas Moist waiting for him. Nico, now on the move, Nico taps it and goes for checks up, gets hooked by Muhammad Moy, turned by Fede Bachman, Fede Bachman goes past Doc, no, hits Doc six, and Rash Rashid Hassan comes in, hooked by Fede, Fede still working hard, Fede, and now Rashid, near side open, we've got another whistle. And it's along the ground, hit by, by Hines, but stopped by Rashid Hasnan, left the ball there, and we've got another whistle. This time I think the ball buried, either that or it's in favour of, you know, let's see what happens, I'm not too sure what's going on here. But it's probably in favour of HLA Associates Gold, the team in pink, Rashid Hasnan. One pass. On the run, one hit, it's not going to be good enough. And it is Hines Bagajo who claims the line, sends it to Fede Bachman. And Hines now on the run, sends it to Fede on the gala. Fede Bachman bouncing horn. And Fede now with the gold shot under his pony's neck. 
to reach it to the left. It's going to go across the field. Rashid Hasnan runs on to it. Takes it to the far board. Rashid Hasnan, flat gallop. Can you get some goals from there? Nope, you can sit over the board. And that will be that. Because that will be eight seconds before the umpire drops the ball. It's got another five seconds after that to play it. Time's running down. They're down to 15 seconds now. Oh, we've got a whistle. That stops the time. 14 seconds to go. Final shutter. Kenneth Bagazio will probably play this one down. Packed it. Looked up. No pressure on him. And strokes it forward for Dr. Muhammad to run onto it. Sandy running onto it. Can't get it. And Rashid Hassan takes it to the far side and goes himself. There's the bell, that will end it. Six to four and a half, La Familia defeat. Italy Associates go in the KL Polo Classic. The next match will start in about 10 minutes. And that will be between, will be between La Salita and TV Windhorse and I'll be handing you over to resident commentator Mr. Hugh Cox saying